Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss Protocol Buffer's I.O. package. I.O. stands for the input-output. Protocol Buffer I.O. package includes many classes, and the Protocol Buffer library uses the classes in this package to deal with input, output, and encoding or decoding the raw bytes. In this video, we are going to focus on the coded stream classes. The header file is coded underscore stream dot edge. This file contains the coded input stream and the coded output stream classes, which wrap a zero copy input stream or zero copy output stream, allow you to read write individual piece of data in various format. So the zero copy stream class. The header file will be zero underscore copy underscore stream dot edge. These files contain the zero copy input stream and the zero copy output stream, which is the interface which represent abstract input output stream to and from which protocol buffers can be read and written. So to implement this interface. We need to include the header file zero copy stream mpl dot h. This file command implementation of the interface defined in the zero copy stream dot h. Here on the Linux, we create a two program. One is the coded output dot cpp, which uses a coded stream class to write data into output files. And the coded input dot cpp, which use a coded stream class to read data from the file. Here is our make files, and the, the editor where you're going to use the vi to edit multi files in same times. We can use the vi file number one, file number two, and file number three. So currently, you can see our we are in the file number one, which coded underscore output dot cpp. To switch the file number two, use a colon and space pound two. So now we can switch to our coded underscore input dot cpp is file number two. So to switch back and space pound number one. The usage of our program, program name, and the magic number, and output files. Magic number, which is the four byte number used to identify the file types. So first, we write the file. We have to open the file. The function we use is open, and this open is the Linux open file system calls. Linux open file. There's three parameters, and the file name, class name, flag, and the model. So the open system call opens the file specified by file name. So the return of this value of open is the file descriptor, a small non-negative integer that is used to subsequence the system calls. Our open function, the first parameter is the file name, which we get from the command line, and the flag we use the all create. It means the file not exists. We create a new all write only, and the permit, which is a typical Unix file system permit, we define as six four four, which is the for owner can be read write or group or other users. It be only read only. Its function return is the fd, which is the file descriptor, and after that we use the new file up to the stream, which is the descriptor. This so the file open stream, which is a descriptor of a zero copy output stream, which write to file descriptor. So we got a file descriptor fd. We using this file open stream class to instantialize a zero copy output stream interface. We call the raw output, and we using the code output stream, which is the wrap of zero copy output stream interface. So we instantialize this new code output stream, which is our interface, and we name it coded underscore output. 
the mechanism to use a coded uh, stream output, which is two-stepped. First step, we write a four-byte magic number to identify the file types. So we get a magic number from the command line, and the first we write it to the file, which is a four-byte magic numbers. So what we do, we open the file, we get the magic number, convert to the integer, and convert to the UINT32, which is assigned integer 32 bit. So we using the write little adn32, this magic number, to write to file, which is the four byte magic number. Will be verified later once we got the file. And then we write lens delimiter string. What is the lens delimiter string? which is a string composed with the warrant of given the length followed by the raw byte. It means a string, we first have the length, one byte, and then the real length of the raw byte of this string. For example, we have a name of a string, and in this program, we create three strings, one is the name, one is the address, one is the state. This three strings, they have a different size, different length. So when we write this to the file, we force the name, we got the name string length, which uses the star length to get the length of this string. Then we write 132, we write the length, compose our string, we first give the length, and then we use the write raw method to write the name with exactly number of string we get from the string length. So in this case, each string we write the real string length plus one byte, which is the number of the length. And for second string address, we get a string length, and we write the length first, and then we write the address with the exact string length. For the state string, we got a string length, and we write the length, and then we write a raw byte of this length. In this example, we write a three length delimit string, which is the name, address, and city state. So then we close the file, we exit the program. So now we switch to our number two, which is a read file. We read the file program usage, is the program name, magic number, and input files. So we first convert our magic number, which is called in numbers. Then we open the file, we use a system call, which is a read only, and we got a file descriptor, which is FD. Then we use the file input stream class, File input stream class, which has zero copy input stream interface to read from the file descriptor. So this file descriptor, we instantialize object, read from file descriptor, and which interface is a zero copy input streams. We call the raw input. Then we using the coded input stream and this coded input stream class wrap of our interface, we call the coded underscore input. Opposite for writing, first we have to read a magic number from a file using the read little adn32 of our coded input object. And if our magic number not equal our input number, we can just error out because this file format is not we expected. So for each record, we first read the string length, then we read the text of, of the length. So which is the first record, we know its name, and then we reset our memory, and we read the length, and read the exact byte, raw byte of the exact length we get from our files. And this is second is the address, and the third is state, so we get the length, and we read it is the exact length of string. So now we close the file, we, each time we read, we print out. And now we close the, our number three is our make file. So we can make file coded output and the coded input library, which include the prot buffer library. And our header file located user local include Google prot buffers. So now let's save everything and we compile. Now we got it compiled. So first we run the output to generate the file. This program usage, which is a magic number and output file. 
magic number or file 67 we just give any number file in this case we write a three line string to the file the magic number is a four five six seven so you can see each string has different size and now if we try to read this we can use the coded input if we give the same number and the same file we can see we can read from file so in case if we give a different number one two three four and they say this file is not the expected format let's go to another terminal so this is the file we generated if we look at this file we can see we have some binary date between the string so each string we start with the length and the string is length of string so here is not readable so if you have a HTML editor you can use a HTML editor if you don't have a HTML editor Linux offer a command is xxd the convert to this one to the text files so now this is HTML so first uh, this file we generate is a four byte magic number and then for each string we start length this is a HTML data is 11 so 11 means 16 plus 1 is 17 which is our first string which is 17 and then we have our string and the second length this byte is the length of the next string which is 1c 1c in the decimal in the decimal is 16 plus 12 is 28 so it's going to 28 for the second string and the third string starts with this one so one two so this is the third string length which is 18 18 is 16 plus 8 is 24 so our third string length is 24 so this is our length delimited file format which each string we go start with length and then follow with the byte of this length and we start with four bytes of magical numbers so this file is for us easy to encoding and decoding hello this is Hui thanks to watch my video hopeful this is useful enjoyable it's going to be great to have your feedback